All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, Hip Hop Classics, Before They Were Stars. Let's check it out. Oh, coming from the show SNL, guys. Let's see what we got here. And as a matter of fact, before we even continue, all right. Hey, yo, what's up? I'm the uh, Sway with his uh, inexplicable head wrap. Sway. Uh, reference from Boondocks. Uh, if you black, you know me from the wake up show. Okay. If you white, you know me from this hat. Right. Uh, today on Hip Hop Classics, we look back at artists who got their start on camera before they went behind the mic. By now, everyone knows Drake appeared on the Canadian teenage drama Degrassi, The Next Generation. But did you know Drake isn't alone in his transition from the small screen to hip hop royalty? Okay. Before Eminem was a hardcore rapper, he right. showed a softer side on the coming of age drama Felicity. See if you can pick him out. Hey. Hey. Hey! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me here in my giant dorm room. What? I can't hear you! I love you both, but I can... Eminem is wild. Only choose one. Right. Choose yourself! Your internship's important! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Family Matters was for many people with terrible taste the best show of the 90s. Hey, 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 hey. I was on Family Matters. All right? If you guys didn't know... Absolutely, negative 100%, absolutely, on Family Matters, bro. All right, that was a dad, if you didn't know. But before Carl Talia Winslow, White all started day. as the iconic Steve Urkel, he was played by Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., better known as Lil Wayne. Okay. No. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dad, I need the car. Uh, you don't need the car because you're grounded. Bro, you're playing a bad me right now. All right, do better. My dad, the dance. <laughs> Bro, this is really Drake. Y'all got any cheese? <laughs> it's in the fridge. Oh. oh. Did I do that? Yeah, bro. You, you, you did that. Steve! <laughs> 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 uh, now what i like about the line did i do that was that the answer right. was almost always yeah, yes you did you definitely <laughs> did that bro okay now before right. we are listen, listen i try to tell uh you know steve urkel this all the time uh, when he would come through my kitchen and uh you know i try to attempt to flirt with my daughter right he never listened. So yes, bro. If you, did you do that, Steve Urkel? Absolutely. You always did that. All right. Rihanna was an international superstar. She starred in a Barbados television reboot. Did, okay. Who? Now before Rihanna was an international Rihanna. superstar, right. she starred in a Barbados television reboot of the early '90s classic Blossom. Here are the opening credits. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> right. I did, I did not know that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, a few years ago, the hip hop community was a buzz when it was discovered that Rick Ross had worked as a corrections officer. Absolutely. But did you know he was also the red Teletubby? Time for Teletubby. <laughs> Many pop stars. You guys are you guys are completely out of pocket here. All right, SNL. Uh, this is disrespectful, all right? But I mean, listen, I like the concept of it because it's absolutely hilarious, all right? Absolutely. You know, different type of hilarious, obviously. Um, because it's so near and dear to the to, to the love of my life, hip hop, right? Absolutely. But, bro, did you have to do Rick Ross like that? Okay, that as of right now, that may be the most like embarrassing video of Before You Were a Star. I've got their start with the Disney Channel. Justin Timberlake, uh, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus. Okay. But it seems history has forgotten the short-lived classic, That's So Two Chains. 
Here's a clip from the talent show episode. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, they are good. We're never gonna win. Sydney, it's not about winning or losing. It's right. about having fun. Okay. That's why you're the big brother. Exactly. Yeah. Where are we going with this? Two chains, you're in the talent show? <laughs> I guess they let anyone in these days. What the f you just say to oh. me? Oh! Huh? I didn't. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? I didn't say anything. You ain't say nothing. Say it again. Well, I thought, what you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting fact. That's so two chains still holds the record for the Disney show with the most bleeps. Right. <laughs> I can now, see that. Before Jay -Z I can see was that. The king of rap as All young right. Sean Carter was a guest on Mr. Wizard. All, All right. right, Sean. Mr. Wizard. Today, you and I are going to make a volcano. <laughs> That's, That's oh, definitely true. Right. Now I power my volcano oh. with baking soda and vinegar. <laughs> Brooklyn. Now why don't you go ahead and pour that in there? Oh, that's oh, crazy. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. M to the is stir. To the is sir. Mr. Whistler, get your damn hands up. Like this? Yeah, just like that. And right. now we're having fun. And finally, we take a look at right. the original pilot to the Wonder Years. Let's go. See if you can recognize the 80s hip hop legend who provided the voiceover. Okay. The flavor, flavor, wow. flavor, flavor. I'm sorry. Can you imagine this being real? About Brian. Who's Brian? Right. Yo, give her your coat. But what show is this? Give her your coat. Like some early, I don't know, 80s? Mid -80s? Guys, I have no idea the placement, uh, the, the year of this, guys. Uh, but definitely looks like some young teenage, but not, they're not even teenagers. Bro. Give her your like some coat. Some love story. Give her your coat. Give her your coat. Right. Give her your coat. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, boy. <laughs> In the end, producers <laughs> felt that Flavor Flav wasn't believable as Fred Savage's voice. Not really. <laughs> no, not really, bro. What? You just ate. Okay, um, I'm not saying that there's a cat on my head, but, uh... Oh, no. If there is, I have to feed it. Could be. It's in your hat, bro. classics, I'm Sway. Right. Guys, definitely Rick Ross had it. Listen, that, that one basically almost buried me, all right? Uh, the Family Matters one, obviously, is solid because, you know, I'm in it. Right. But other than that, uh, the Rick Ross one was, was probably the wildest one, bro. All right. That's almost disrespectful. To a, that's another level. All right. But listen, let me know in the comments of the next uh, one of these from them that I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.